Ladies and gentlemen, if you are on good terms with any deity of any consequence whatsoever, I want you to call in that favor now. Get praying. For tonight, you are about to witness a feat of such cunning, such bravado, such gut-churning moxie, that it will only, it can only, in fact, be attempted by one man. And that one man is none other than the astounding Prespinsky! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man you see lying helpless before you has cheated death a thousand times in a thousand ways. Why, on this very stage, scarcely 18 months ago, we saw this hero emerge from a sealed tank of flesh-rending piranha, wearing nothing but the loincloth given him for luck by his dying syphilitic grandmother. But tonight, he will undergo the greatest, perhaps even the final challenge of his life. Can we have the clock? He will have three minutes, 180 seconds. Are you ready, Chris Pinsky? Are your nerves steeled? Then, my friend, prepare to escape from your own life. Go! He's off. He's grappling with parental approval, vying for his parents' affection against three other siblings, trying out for basketball, singing operettas at the family Christmas party. But no! He's been snagged by his parents' distant lack of attention. His father's more interested in the sports page than his own son's minor concussion. His mother needs a fully stocked pharmacy to keep food on the table every night. But by sheer force of hormonal rebellion, he's on his feet! But he's still got to get through his hyperconsciousness of his physical appearance. The left ear slightly smaller than the right. The gangly arms, the acne. Oh God, he's almost free of the acne. But he's functioning. But there's this inability to communicate with the opposite sex. Would only his parents failed marriage and a handful of teen romance movies as guides. Can he use his outsized bravado to mask his stunted inner life? He's doing it. But no, it's student loans. Can even the mightiest among us claw through a solid mountain of debt? He's trying. He's got money management books, a seminar. He's got automatic payroll deduction. He's, he's standing. And, but no, he's down, it's corporate America. His boss rules by humiliation and the employees lay in food and clothing to survive their stock meetings. And his company is sold. Use all your vacation days by next week or lose them. And he's been blindsided by religious convictions. If it feels good, it must be wrong. What if they find the magazines and the videos under the bed? And I'm free, he's moving out into the world. Get married, stay single, get married, stay single. Get married, have children, house payments, lawn needs to be mowed, tubbery grouted, Ikea furniture assembled. Can he do it? He's almost there. Oh, but inability to please his own father rears its ugly head out of nowhere. His own parenting skills question, the parent-teacher conferences he missed, not helping out with the Cub Scout Pinewood Derby. He's become his own father. He's helping take care of his own father, find the right home, the right hospice, the right crematorium. His conscience is clear, but empty, sleepless nights, 40 years of work and life and work for what? Is this all there is? Paging jean paul Sartre, paging jean paul Sartre. But he's, he's, he's a free man. And he's dead, ladies and gentlemen. The astounding Krasinski runs true freedom. At last, give it up for the ultimate escape. <laughs>